So let's try it out. So there. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to ruin your house. How's it going, guys? Dregas here, and welcome back to another episode of Brick Rigs. And boy, has it been a long time since we played this game. I decided randomly today just to check out what the creative community has made so far, and I must say, the game has changed a lot since we last played, and there is some really impressive creations in this game. Uh, this first one being a high-speed seven-car train. Now, if you don't know what Brick Rigs is, if you did miss uh, my few episodes on it, it's basically Besiege with Lego. You can see, I don't know if you can really tell here, but this is made out of uh, Lego blocks, more or less. They're not actual Lego blocks, because that would be copyright, but uh, they are very, very similar, and you might be able to see a little bit of the detail in here, like the windows, for example. Those are definitely clear Lego blocks. But yes, this is basically Besiege uh, with a different art style. I love how the uh, storm outside is making this whole thing shake. You can see when we don't move. I mean, this thing is a shaking. So, we're gonna go try and drive this thing. Now, the designer did warn uh, users to not go past 80 kilometers an hour or shit happens, basically. And you know that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try and go past 80 kilometers an hour and see what happens. Let's not go there right away, though. Let's have a nice slow uh, train ride here, enjoying one of the new maps. There's a lot of new maps in this game now. Uh, you can make trains, cars, planes, all that good stuff. And uh, actual scaled maps that are probably... Oh, shit! I, I was just randomly talking there. I was not even going fast, game. Okay, well, high-speed trains can be a dangerous thing. My god, look at the uh, amount of damage even that little crash did. So that is uh, going to be awesome. Now, I hope I can get a little bit faster than that. Let's actually reset this and try again here. All right, it might be this weather that's affecting me because there's definitely some sort of wind going on. You can see the uh, shake here. Now, we're going to get up to... Oh, we might hit the big 80 here. Oh, come on, stay on. All right, I'm just going full throttle. We have derailed here. And this one actually ooh, 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 wasn't as bad at all. So I was hoping for bigger crashes here. Uh, maybe we should wait till that turn. Uh. Um... Okay, I I decided to try the slow-mo out, and my train decided it wanted to be a plane? That was the weirdest thing ever. Mind you, this is really cool. So this game does have slow motion as well. It's got actually more features than something like Besiege. For example, I can override the weather. Let's go to Sunny. I feel like this wind here is affecting me a little bit, so... Ah, the clouds will part and the sun will come out. Now, hopefully, I just wanna, I just wanna actually try and make it all the way to that turn. All right, it is getting late in the day. Oh, man, that sunshine is uh, a bright one in this game, that's for sure. There we go. It's looking a little better now. We're actually staying at 70, and it's not imploding on itself just yet. But this little turn here is going to be the deciding factor. Okay, so yeah, the wind must have affected it. All right, I'm going full throttle now. It actually can't go much faster than this, so let's see if we can make this bank now. That's a pretty heavy bank. I think we are going to derail it, but that never made me stop from trying. So yes, we are over 80 kilometers an hour now. Oh, this is great. Okay, so, oh, oh, there we go. We finally derailed it. So yes, like the de developer said, uh, anything past 80 kilometers an hour is a death wish and really not that bad of a derailment, but still definitely a derailment. All right, well, that was fun, but I definitely do want some more destruction. So the great thing about Bricks Rigs is you can actually load up multiple vehicles at once. So we are going to start with a fresh slate here. We're going to open an existing vehicle. And what do we want to play with against this thing? You know what? I know the Mammoth Mini Mark II is the most popular creation in this game. So, yeah, I think that's a good start. We're going to open up this. Look at the size of this beast. Now, this is obviously... A tank and you can actually totally control the turret here and it's got some serious firepower so I figured we could uh take this down the tracks a little bit if we can get off these tracks that is oh god okay slow down slow down I'm, I'm breaking shit all right well we didn't need that anyway so there we go we just need to get off the track a little bit uh, not very good suspension in this thing but that is totally fine so oh, oh what the fuck what the fuck did I just do I didn't I didn't I didn't want to do that. Okay, um, can I please put that back down? Oh, okay. So I am a little new at this game, guys, but I somehow lifted the tank. <laughs> 
Alright, so I've never done this before, so hopefully we can do it, but uh, we got the vehicle or the mammoth set up down there, so I'm just going to start this train, and ooh, ooh, okay, we're going to go back to this, and yes, the train is moving, so now we basically just got a very large moving target. Now, I don't think, yeah, the throttle isn't staying on, unfortunately, so, oh, God, oh, I wish that was closer now. Oh, that is so cool, though. Okay, I can definitely get into this. This is this is my kind of weapon, damn it. All right, let's let's go. Let's just go at least look at the damage. Ah, oh, that that was nice. I I like this game. All right, let's reset that. Uh, I'm gonna get it some more speed, and hopefully we can at least coast down there. So there we go. We'll give it some real speed here, and. Let's get it nice and close to the vehicle now. Why does it go to this view? Okay, that's just weird, but there we go. Now we can at least hit a moving freaking target. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was amazing. You are a piece of machinery, you wonderful mammoth. This is the greatest invention ever. Oh, there's nothing left, man. I just took the fucking thing out. Okay, well that this if you if you ever are angry or anything, this is like the greatest game to just go around and destroy things. So yeah, I'm gonna say, oh, hey, that's me. I somehow went underneath the map. Okay, well, that's what happens when you go in a train and get shot by things. You break the game. All right, well that was fun. Let's go on and do even more destruction. All right, everybody, welcome to the... Oh, 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 God, okay, I, uh, almost fell off the fucking world here, but... <laughs> yes, this is Dude's Redneck, or Not-So-Redneck Diner, I think it's called. Uh, this is another, I guess you could say, Brick Riggs character, from what I understand, so, uh, there's a lot of characters in this game that, uh, people build stories around, and this is Dude's Redneck, or Not-So-Redneck Diner, and, uh, the attention to detail is amazing in this thing. So, curds, curb stomped perfection with every bite. So yes, it's just a little diner. I don't think it does anything else. Dude's demo. Okay, so that was, there was a whole storyline behind the demo thing. Uh, what is this? Nearly rat free for one week. Wow. Uh, well, they had 160 days one day. Now they're down to one week. All right, well, let's go in here and see what this, oh my God, look at the attention to detail in here. This is amazing. So, uh, yeah, this is what I love about Brick Rigs is people go crazy with the detail in this game. We got, I don't know if these things fell over or what's going on. There are clearly cocktails over there. This is the cashier. Did you sail meal? Yeah, yeah. Can, can I actually press it? No, I can't. Attention all pot licking punks! Cashier is armed. All right, so obviously we got the cashier stand there. These awesome little passenger chairs. We can sit in these, by the way. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at me just chilling with my beer. Arm in the counter and all. So... Oh, God! Oh, what did I do? What did I... I'm... Oh, oh, okay. Um, are we okay? Is, is, is everybody good? Oh, okay, no, no, it is not good! It is not good! Where- what the fuck? What is going on? Where am I going? No, I like Dude's Diner! Please bring me back! Alright, well, I think it's official, guys. We made it to Brick Rig Space. Uh, yeah, that is- that is- I- I- I don't even know where I am. I- I'm- I'm just going further and further away. Alright, let's reset that. Is- is it still even here? Uh... No. No, let's just- what the fuck is that? Is that piss? Is this- Okay, this is definitely guys and gals, all for one and one for all. Okay, I just wanna, I just wanna kind of come in. Ew! Hey, oh God, I'm falling! I fell! Help me! I'm stuck in here! Oh God! <laughs> Everything is going wrong right now. The dude's diner is a dangerous place. I think I'm. Yep, I'm flying away again. Okay, let's just reset once again. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where the dude's diner went. Oh, I think I I think I found it. All right, we still got the dude's diner here. Somehow it's made its way. We were up there and now it's down here. So yes, the dude's diner did go uh quite a ways away. Let's try and reset this thing. Oh, this this might be bad though. All right, we're going to reset it. Oh god, please don't destroy yourself. Oh, bad things are happening. I already know that. There oh, 
Okay, okay, we're good. All right, and look at that. I'm the actual cashier, so I did want to just check out the rest of this. Uh, so, oh, oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fly in because me walking around is what destroys things. So let's just put on our little flying boots. You can stay outside because you like to break things, and we can actually check out the rest of this. So the back end here, the chef's area. Look at this, though. We got actual working stoves and everything. I mean, it is just amazing. What does this say? Uh, I'm assuming this is instructions. One, check your temps. No more stew incidents. I wonder what happened there. If it is still a screaming, stomp it. Yeah, that's that's generally how food works. Uh, number four, I don't know where three went. Flip tire treads face up. Okay. And number seven, always take a jar to the toilet with y'all. Oh, that's where those things come from. So yeah, we got some jars back here. And I, I guess they go out here and... They just fill up the jars, because clearly this is not a real toilet. And I think someone, like, just peed in the back. I, I have no idea. But this is just... I just like the attention to detail here. Uh, I, I think there's also lighting on this, so let me see if we can do that. All right, is there any other... Okay, so there's exit vehicle, uh, interact, so the headlights. Let's see. Oh my god, that is so cool. The flickering. Look at... Th How does... Wow, the lighting in this game, like, I, I am just blown away right now. You know what? I actually do want to see this at nighttime, so you can override time, too, and look at that. That is amazing. So, yeah, Dude's Diner, a pretty good dining experience, gotta say so myself, and uh, it does look amazing at nighttime. Alright, so no big deal, we just got a nuclear missile truck now, and look at the size- Oh god, I'm drifting it. Okay, we, we probably shouldn't be drifting with a fucking nuclear missile! Uh, by the way, I have no idea how to shoot this thing, so... We're just gonna have to learn together here, out here- Oh god, oh god, okay, this is- This is why I'm not a nuclear missile transportation guy, it's- it's- Okay, this is- it, it, it's wobbling, guys, I don't think- I don't think it's- it's secured in place anymore. Oh, there's a train! Hold on! Hold on, there's a train here! I changed the plans! I was going to reset this thing, but let's see what happens when Mr. Train... Okay, uh, I guess... Wow, that's a that's an efficient nuclear missile. That thing did not did get to explode it. And there goes my actual vehicle. Okay, so now we're just quite literally sitting on a nuclear missile here. Oh! Oh god! Okay, don't, don't, don't press that button. That, that, that was the wrong button to press. Okay, definitely just wanted to try it again, but definitely the wrong button to press. <laughs> All right, I think I might have gotten it, guys. So controls are not the easiest thing in this game, but uh, we do have everything set up, I think. So what we're going to do is we should be able to now, yes, raise the beast. And you can actually control this thing in air, I think. So I'm just going to go back to this camera. Unfortunately, unlike Besiege, I don't think you can follow the rocket. Well, there's no way that I know how to. So let's just try this out. Uh, we're going to go back to this one. And let's see. Okay, there. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I can't see it. It's it's gone. It's Is it coming back? How do I lose a nuclear-sized missile? Oh, I think I saw it. I think... Oh, there's something over there! Oh, yeah, I think it crashed way in the distance and we just totally missed it. So, I am not very good at this thing, guys. Alright, let's- oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. That, oh, God! Okay, that's the problem with this thing. You have to, like, enable and enable different systems and whatnot. So, it, it is a lot to get used to. So, there we go. Uh, we're gonna disable the driving and now we are ready to take off. Like Team Rocket once again. Alright, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Oh my god, look at the distance on this thing. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, I definitely want to hit one of those big buildings, guys. I gotta. Alright, so we know this thing can chuck them, so we're not gonna even raise this too much. That should be good just like that. I can't really move my camera, unfortunately. So let's try it out. So there- oh, 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 sorry! Sorry about that, didn't mean to ruin your house. Okay, a little bit higher then. Uh, you know what? That should be good just like that. We're gonna let her go. Oh, oh, that one got stuck. Okay, that was not my fault. This is fucking difficult. Launching nuclear weapons is not the- Oh, God, we're doing it again. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna reset that one and pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so uh, let me just say, play the game before you make fun of my uh, controlling here because this is fucking difficult, man. All right. Here we go. This has got to be it, right? There, there, there we- Oh, 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 god. Oh, oh, okay, we hit- <laughs> That was not the target I intended on hitting. 
but I hit it and we fucking crumbled that thing. Let's, let's keep trying here, man. This is fun. So I did learn something, though. I can manually detonate the missile whenever I want. Oh, so, so like that, for example. If I really wanted to destroy myself, I can do that. So that is good. Now we know we can manually detonate it. So this should be a hell of a lot easier. I, th I think we got it this one right here, guys. So raise it up. Erect the missile and let her go. There we go. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Blow her up! <laughs> Oh, dude, that was amazing. I, I need to go over there and look at the damage I did. All right, I am god of this Lego town. Look at that Tokyo Drift skill, too. Okay, this is this is actually a lot harder to drive than it seems, guys. All right, there we go. Let's go over and check out the damage. So obviously, there's not a bunch of rubble on the ground, unfortunately, like I was hoping. There's just little, there's little Lego stacks. So this is right where the building was. We totally destroyed her. Good job, man. That nuclear missile is amazing. All right, guys. I'm sorry about the lag, but when you see the creation, I think you'll understand why. <laughs> this is Pepe's headquarter. Once again, another Brick Riggs character here. 24 Acadia Ave, Pepe's HQ. So I don't know too much about Pepe, but I know he is a very successful businessman. And this is his headquarters. Now... I don't think I'm actually going to do much with this thing. I do want to go look into it, though. So we're going to fly in here because we know what happens when I walk in. Dangerous thing happens. And I just want to see, are all the floors furnished? I mean, this is a legit headquarters here. We got different um, meeting rooms in here. And there's probably offices up top. Okay, so it's not as furnished as well as uh, Dude's Diner, for example. But still, I mean... This is, for, if you are curious, this is almost 12,000 blocks, so there is a lot to this thing. And we're only, we're only friggin' halfway up right now, so you get the idea. Now, obviously, what I want to do is blow this baby up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go back into it, so I'm now considered driving this thing, because this is brick rigs after all. It's supposed to be vehicles, but people go crazy and design other things. So now I should be able to go out to the map, and I'm just gonna move this here. Uh, hopefully, if it doesn't lag and destroy itself. All right, and now we got our demolition party. So this is, if it looks familiar, it's Dude once again. If you remember the Dude's Diner, well, he's also got Dude's Demolition. And that was the thing on the side of the diner. Well, this is it in all of its glory. So from what I understand, we got some bombs back here. It's got some clamps on them, or I guess you could call them... Hooks. And basically all we gotta do is hook these things to uh, any sort of building and we should be able to demolish it. So we're gonna make our way over there with this little thing. Now dude, he's not too rich as you can see, so he kind of makes things out of everything. Oh god, we are sliding all over the place. I like how one side of the thing, I got a huge wheel, the other side, the wheel's not even on the ground, it's so small. So hopefully we don't lose all of our demolition by the time we get there, because it is pretty far away. I guess I could have teleported there, but you know what? That's no fun. Is my... Okay, my, my trailer's actually falling apart as well. That's just great. All right, look at that little rainbowy beast. So this was a deceptively long ways away. So hopefully we can do this first try. Because I don't really want to have to go all the way back over here. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with Dude. I don't know if he's just mad at Pepe for being successful and Dude's not so much... Uh, but I think we're gonna blow this bad boy up, so let's drift right in there and get this thing all set up. So we're gonna put on the parking brake. There we go, and oh, the leg, right when you get off that thing. Look at the size of this, though. That's probably why I'm going to say. So, what we have to do now is... Oh, oh, okay, we're, we're relax. Okay, we're not gonna grab that hook because it's a little crazy right now, but we're gonna pick up the hook, and I think we can just attach it to whatever we want, so... For example, let's just... Oh, I dropped it. I did not mean to drop it. There we go! So now we connected it to it. Oh, God. Uh, don't do anything just yet. We got to do a lot of these things. I'm sorry about the lag, guys. Obviously, it's going to be pretty laggy here. But we will slow it down, and hopefully the destruction will be beautiful. So I have no idea how many of these I'm supposed to attach. I'm going to attach a good amount of them. I'm just hoping nothing breaks, because it's, it's a little glitchy right now. All right, there we go. We got another one there. So from what I'm understanding, what happens here is these things just basically get pulled in, and once they touch the structure, they explode. So, oh my. Okay, the lag. Okay, getting in the actual truck, it is so freaking laggy. 
Okay, uh, that that's fine. We do we totally didn't need that part of the truck anyways. Jesus Christ, things are breaking everywhere. Okay, I, I'm gonna try and do like one or two more, and I think that's good enough for me. So we'll pick up that. There we go. We got another one here. Oh God. Oh God. The poor this the, my poor PC. This is too much for it. All right. So there we go. We'll connect to that. All right. That's three. I gotta assume. Three might be good. So what we want to do now, let's try it out. Let's just see what happens here. I think we're supposed to get in the driver's seat here. Thankfully, it's going to lag less now. And we'll zoom out here and press the button. Oh, it actually... Okay, it pulls the whole freaking trailer in. All right, we're going to do go nice and slow motion here. And we're going to start pulling this in. Now, I can up the slow motion as well. So we don't need to go too slow, but slow enough to the point where, you know, at least we won't lag too much. But there we go. They're pulling them in. Uh, I kind of wish I added some more to it, because I think there's like eight in that trailer, but this still should be good. All right, Pepe, you bastard. Who's going to get the last laugh now? Now, I don't know if I have to engage them or if they just kind of stick to the sides. This is honestly a pretty impressive design here, just putting basically TNT on hooks and you can attach them to whatever you want. All right, so they're all the way up. I think I got something else I need to do, though. Okay, so I do have one more button to press. The downside is all these things explode at once, I think, so we are probably going to explode as well. But let's press it, and oh yes, there we go. It exploded. Problem is, it's it's trying to register what the hell's going on here. Hopefully, can we take it down? Oh, I don't think that was enough to take it down. No! Please, we need to take this thing down. They're, they're still, they're slowly going. You know what, let's speed up time here. And see, that was not enough to take down Pepe's HQ. God damn it. All right, dude needs some backup, so we got another explosive truck here. There's lots of explosive trucks in this game. That's why it's so damn great. So, uh, yeah, this one, it's just a click of the button and it explodes. So we're just going to go right into her here. You know what? I might not even click the button. We'll see what happens when we actually... Oh, God. Okay, that's a, that's a bad sign when the game just stops when you touch something. So let's just let's just wait it out. Okay, I don't think it actually exploded. Ooh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna let her go. I I probably should have let it go a little bit closer. Oh god, this thing is the structure is almost too big. All right, there we go. Oh oh, nice and slow. Oh, it's still. This is the structure that will not be destroyed. All right, this is clearly a job for the mammoth, and I didn't realize the mammoth was a fucking rocket. Look at this, we're over 200 kilometers an hour. I'm actually drifting going in a straight line somehow. Jesus Christ, how fast can we get this thing? Okay, we're actually gonna have to start hitting the brakes here, or we're gonna crash right into the damn thing, which might work, you know? Actually, I'm kind of thinking, oh God, okay, no, we're, we're sliding, we're sliding. Oh shit, shit. Hold on to her! Okay, brakes, brakes, brakes! It's just odd seeing such a big mammoth of a tank-like creature, uh, be so damn quick. Like, we are at the- at the pinnacle, we are at, like, 250 kilometers an hour. That's crazy. All right, but dude couldn't do it. The explosive truck couldn't do it. Can this possibly do it? Now, this thing doesn't have very strong explosions, but it does have a lot of them. So, I, I don't- I don't know if it's limitless or not, but it probably is. Okay, so there we go. We're back here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be real fun. Let's back up a bit so we can get it in all its glory, and I'm also going to slow down time to about half, just in case we start lagging, which we will. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yeah, first, the, the second these things hit it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, oh. What the fuck was that noise? Okay, so we definitely need to slow this down a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately... Uh, this game just can't handle these size creations. I don't even think Besiege can handle this, because this is... You gotta remember, this is 12,000 freaking blocks, so... We're just gonna slowly deteriorate it until it fucking falls, because I'm gonna make it happen, damn it. All right, slowly and steady, we are destroying this thing. It's looking like the only thing holding it up is this middle wall now, so I've shot quite a few shots at it. Oh, my poor PC, though. I can't fucking handle this, guys. It's way too rough. But, uh, we're gonna go try and hit that blue wall down, see if we can actually do it. And there goes the blue wall, so let's see. Ooh, the leg's gonna be real right now, guys, but... I just wanna try and understand how the hell this thing is staying up. Look at... Look at how much I've infected it! This is ridiculous! This should not be... Alright, I'm gonna try a little bit more, but I'm thinking this might be the one that, uh, is too strong for us, guys. 
All right, guys, I've been shooting for at least 20 minutes now. Unfortunately, my PC just can't handle the sheer scale of this structure. We're going to try one more shot here, but just to, so you can see how long you have to wait between shots, it's, it's really sad because it freezes here the moment the bullets are about to hit, and uh, yeah, it's just... I thought this would be a little bit easier to take down, but clearly I was mistaken. Now, that being said, I do have a few more creations that do even more damage than anything that we've seen today. So maybe in the near future, we might be able to take this building down. It looks like it is the one that won today, though. And I guess that was good timing because the next shot that I took has totally frozen the game. So I really did try, guys. I wanted to take this big old beast down. Uh, maybe in the next episode we might be able to, but with the uh, firepower that we had to our disposal, it just was not enough. This thing was a true beast that I could not tame. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs, guys. Let me know what you guys think of things like this, because obviously I really like this game. Uh, the, the, the creative community has started to flourish in it, and uh, yeah, if you guys do like it, we might do an episode here and there. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.